And in our health alert tonight, nine students in Florida hospitalized after eating marijuana infused candy. Apparently, a student inadvertently brought the THC candy to school, mistaking the product for a popular sour candy. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandy, joins us now with more on what happened and how those kids are doing now, Doc. Thanks, Alan. Well, first of all, the students' injuries were not life-threatening. The kids were between ages 10 and 12 and were sent to the ER because they were having stomach pains. But this is still a warning for parents who have edible marijuana products in their home. If the packaging and the candy or treat inside resembles any products that kids are familiar with, then they're more likely to see it as normal food and be tempted to eat it. Unfortunately, these types of accidental poisonings are on the rise. So Dr. Nandy, why does food prompt more overdose incidents? Well, Glenda, edibles often have several times the recommended dose of THC. Now, THC is a psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, yet the edibles take a longer time to kick in, meaning that you won't feel the effects right away. So oftentimes, people end up eating even more of the drug. As for kids, they can experience severe effects like trouble breathing, loss of coordination, altered perceptions panic, paranoia, and heart problems, all, all bad things. All bad things for sure, Doc. So when kids overdose, what are the long-term effects? Super important question, Alan, and honestly, I don't have a good answer for you because acute marijuana exposure on children has not been systematically studied, so there's no research or science findings regarding the full effects. So it's super important that anyone who has kids in their homes keep edibles and all types of marijuana products out of reach and out of sight. They should also be kept in child resistant packaging that also contains uh, the, the, the way so that it, it seals, it conceals the contents rather so it can't be seen and please don't consume the edibles in, in front of the kids because we need to keep them safe. We do. Dr. Nandy, that's great advice. Thank you for joining us. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.